Like a fine orchestral piece, precision medicine requires many players working in harmony. In oncology, we work together to understand the complex interactions between the immune system, tumor, and cancer therapies. Biomarkers are instrumental in clarifying these interactions, thus helping to inform clinical decisions. Being able to deliver the right treatment to the right patient at the right time, that's the goal. That's precision medicine, and it starts with pathology. We typically look at three types of biomarkers to fine-tune clinical decisions. Predictive biomarkers are those that identify whether individuals are more likely to experience a favorable or unfavorable response to a particular treatment. Prognostic biomarkers are those that identify the likelihood of a clinical event, such as disease progression, disease recurrence, or death, independent of treatment received. And finally, pharmacodynamic biomarkers demonstrate whether a biologic response has occurred in an individual who has received treatment. Researchers today are also exploring the potential utility of composite biomarkers. That is, information from more than one biomarker in the same patient. Additional research is needed, but I'm excited that this approach may enable even greater precision in matching patients with appropriate therapies. Regardless of the type or how many biomarkers we're looking at, we're always pursuing the same goal, individualizing treatment to help ensure the right patient gets the right treatment at the right time. Innovations in testing technology are also increasing in tempo, enabling a more informed approach to precision medicine implementation. Just look at how NGS has increased the DNA sequencing capacity. Similarly, multiplex IHC increases efficiencies by simultaneously detecting various antigens from the same tumor sample within a single test. Digital pathology and image analysis have also grown rapidly in recent years. These analyses allow us to measure spatial relationships between tumor antigens and heterogeneity of biomarker expression within a tissue sample. And liquid biopsies are emerging as a minimally invasive approach to biomarker testing with several potential clinical applications, including diagnostics, biomarker testing, and treatment monitoring. The arrival of each of these technologies is exciting for pathologists, physicians, and patients. But a single innovation only enhances precision medicine and clinical practice when there is effective communication within the multidisciplinary team, or MDT. An MDT approach allows for effective sharing of vital clinical and historical patient information. It's an essential part of establishing a consistent strategy for biomarker testing and is key to improving patient care. I tend to think of MDTs as an ensemble, with each member playing an important part. In this scenario, I believe that the pathologist is the conductor. From leading pre-biopsy conversations about tissue preservation to answering the last questions before an oncologist makes a treatment decision, the pathologist is often the one others look to for direction. When listening to a recorded piece, you don't see the conductor, you just hear the music. So let's embrace our role as MDT maestros and work together to orchestrate truly optimized patient care.